um, getting ready for a, for a training day video. Um, not sure what we're training for at the moment with uh, Corona going on, but decent session on Zwift. We've got 20 people joining us for a group workout and uh, just making sure I caffeine up. Got the pleasure of having Laura video video this bit <laughs> for me today. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see what my coffee making skills are like. Latte art, crap. <laughs> it's not from lack of trying. At least it tastes good. Hi guys, welcome to quarantine training days. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, my friend Jamie can't make it at the moment to do the video footage, which um, I normally get. Uh, I normally get him to do it for me. So I'm going to attempt to do it myself, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. It's probably going to look a bit budget. But um, we'll see. If, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, today um, the, the plan is anyway to do a Zwift group ride at 9 Bay. So I've got just over an hour now. I had my breakfast. I'm a second cup of coffee already. And then um, probably do some stretching a bit later in the day. A bit of yoga, and then we'll head out for a tempo run. Plan is uh, probably about eight miles of effort on the tempo run. Not too hard. Um, just getting a solid run in. So I'll take you through the day and uh, show you what you do in uh, a quarantine training day. Hope it's uh, okay for you guys. So I've got this with session all set up. My mates don't want to support me today, so they're going in the house. This is the pain cave. Get the tune set up on there. Swift on there. We're going on the gravel bike uh, today on there. One of the first sessions back, so uh, it's a bit more comfortable doing it on your normal road bike set rather than TT. But give it a couple of weeks, and uh, I'll be doing these sessions on the time trial bike. Um, during the session, I'll uh, get the camera out, and uh, we'll see how I'm feeling. Fingers crossed, I'm uh, on a good day, and I'm able to hit the numbers. I think this could be, yeah, pretty brutal, but uh, looking forward to it and uh, seeing seeing how I go. This is uh, real grim, definitely feeling it. I'm, uh, as you can see on the second set, struggling. Good group ride though, about 20 of us. I think two stopped after an hour. Be really happy when this is over. Definitely can feel I'm uh, down on power to what I was for New Zealand. But at least I've got plenty of time before the racing starts. Finished. Got a minute and a half of the last under rep. I was so happy to get this done. It's been a pretty tough session. Felt a lot better in the last set. I think mentally, knowing you're nearly there makes a massive difference. And. Uh, First big tempo session since uh, Ironman New Zealand. Uh, well, actually quite a while before New Zealand. So um, yeah, definitely blew the cobwebs away. Got the lunch, pretty healthy. Um, got an omelette with uh, beetroot and uh, tomato in. Uh, some grains, which are spelt buckwheat and uh, bulgur wheat. And an avocado on the side. So yeah, eating really healthy. Get the recovery up and uh, hopefully knock out a good tempo run. Right, so now cracking on with the run session. Legs feel horrendous, so I've had to uh, call on all the help today. Got the uh, carbon X, just to give me a bit of extra speed. <laughs> uh, yeah, desperate times cause for desperate measures. So um, plan today is to head to Eaton Park. It's probably my favorite place to run in Norwich. There's an awesome trail, well, path around the outside. It's uh, 1500 meters a lap. So I'm gonna do four sets of two laps, which will probably be something like 
around 10 minutes, you know, so basically four 10 minute efforts. And um, I'll look to hit a bit slower than threshold, just tempo pace. Just want to get a solid run in really and uh, not go too OTT and kill myself. Um, I'll take the GoPro out while I'm running and uh, depend, the amount of footage will depend on how bad I actually feel. If I feel good and the time's coming easy, then I'll probably be able to get more footage. If you don't see much footage, then you know I was suffering. So um, yeah, better crack on with this then. So eating Park. This bit here, what you can see as well, I'll do some strides. Just get these some stretches first. Then I'll uh, do a few strides up and down there. Probably six in total. And then, yeah, like I said, four times two laps uh, tempo with probably two minutes recovery in between. So going off probably a 12 and a half minute turnaround and that'll be a decent tempo session. So warm up's all done. Did about 20 minutes of like stretches and uh, including the strides as well. Legs are feeling a lot better than the jog here. So uh, yes, yeah, I don't think it'll be as bad as I thought, but you know, by yourself, just always a bit of a slog, isn't it? But you know, coronavirus and all that. Yeah, you have to do these solo, solo sessions, so. Fingers crossed it will, uh, it won't be uh, too bad. I'll get back to you after the first rep and let you know how it goes. First one done, channel three. So pretty much bang on. So let's uh, set the bunch mark ready for the others. So I'll head around, ideally under 10.10 10 for them. I'm probably quick as I'll be, it's like 9.50. Right guys. What an amazing place to run it. So I'm on rep two, 500 meters to go. Making the most of it. And realizing how lucky it is to still be able to run around places like this. Last bit of the rep. Finishing where the bin is. Nine fifty-eight, not bad. I'll take that. Anything around ten, pretty solid today. Now coming up to number three. Twenty seconds to go. Hopefully hit around ten minutes. Ten o three. Similar time to the first time. I'll be really pleased with that. Yeah, it's going quite quick. I actually, quite enjoying it. Third one done. Uh, Nine fifty-seven. Could feel it a bit there. Uh, one more. See the wind picking up on the trees. Not sure if you can see that on there, but that's my excuse anyway. All right, let's get this last one done. Got a minute and 25. So I'm on the downhill headwind section at the moment. It's actually going better than expected. About third the way through the last rep. On sub 10 pace. Good. Just finished the last one. 948. Best one of the lot. Shuffle that. 12k of effort. Solo. Was really uh, not looking forward to it for the start, but actually went a lot better. I actually quite enjoyed it. Got got really into it once I knocked the first one down and. Uh, to be fair, that felt the hardest one the lot. Second one was second easiest. Third one was the third. The last one felt the easiest a lot. Probably it's more of a mental thing, I think, rather than anything, because the pace isn't mega hard. It's just like solid. Uh, but it's just a thought of doing it by yourself, I guess. So, just having a quick drink, uh, get some fuel in, hydration, then uh, it's 2k back home. So, I'll make it just under 17k. Actually, it'll probably be just about 17k by the time I get home. So yeah, I'll take that. Not a massive day, but it's pretty tough because the bike session earlier was hard. And uh, <laughs> to be fair, my, my, I think my FTP was uh, probably overrated on there. Uh, so which made it a bit too hard. So next time when I do it, I'll probably knock it back a bit. Finish the set, like make it a bit more of the effort what it should be and uh, see how it feels. But, really pleased with the day like good good quality training sessions not massive volume but just all solid stuff 